hello guys now i'm gonna show you how to download the tolerado code samples and set them with new eclipse workspace here i'm at at the tolerado google code project and i'm at source tab right now all you need to do is copy this svn repository url for tolerado and move over to eclipse in eclipse you can go to file import you will see a checkout projects from svn option if you have the svn plugin installed hit next it will ask it's a new repository location yeah it is then based in the url you just copy from the google port project again hit next it will start fetching the details okay so here what you see is there's first folder called tolerado that's the main development branch for tolerado and it's having all that uh, library code here next is tolerado samples that basically is a java project that you can check out to eclipse and start playing with the samples so i'm gonna hit next now to start the checkout okay guys what we see is like eclipse is saying like it will check out the project by the name tolerado samples it will check out the head version and you can leave the rest of the details as is now you can hit finish to start the checkout so i'm doing that okay guys so i'm done with checking out the project so here what you will see is like there is a, a dependencies folder there is a source folder so let's uh, move to dependencies so basically dependencies contains all the java files the sample need to execute so in third party you will see all the common java files like common logging common lang the access java file and the log4j and vistal4j stuff apart from that there is a folder called sfdc visual for java this basically contains three java files for each apex metadata and partner visuals so in case you have already done visual to java using apache access 1.4 you can delete these java files and use your generated code the last include is the tolerado jire file that's basically the main library on which these samples depend next let's move to the main source code so in the class path there is a log4j properties file if you want like uh, you can change the logging level to something higher if you don't want to see the debugging and if you dig more into the packages here you will see there are two high level packages one is access 1.4 and another one is cfg so in cfg there is an important properties file called login props so this file basically stores your salesforce username and password and once this is entered here it will be available throughout the samples so what that means is you don't need to enter it again anywhere while you are running the samples login cfg is basically an helper class that loads this file and makes the credentials available to the samples next if we move to the access 14 folder you will see three sub packages so it's query s object and stub query basically contains a tolerado query sample basically this is the query morph api call given by the partner visual so you can see like if you go directly by the apache access you need to do a lot of housekeeping and, um, and many other things to make the query or query more call works but here it's just four lines of code and the query more call will work so it's normal pojo java main class you can go to run run as to start running this before that just set your credentials into the login props file apart from that there is an s object package that has samples for basically creating updating and basically deleting the s objects using the tolerado s object wrapper so if you see the create s object sample it's again using the stub to obtain the credentials it's creating a tolerado wrapper so you see there is no message element and mm, all, all that crap you are just working on plain java objects that are giving you nice setters to update the fields and you are using the partner stub to get the recoverable behavior to create the s objects apart from that if you need more samples about the stubs so there are three samples for each visitors like apex visitor here is a run test sample there is a metadata sample and there is a partner sample too so if you see the run test sample it's again using the login config for the credentials and it's using the tolerado stub registry to basically obtain the cache to apex stub so once this apex stub is in hand once can directly call the run all test calls and it will give you the usual run all test results 
oh, sorry run test result that's a normal visdel to java class that you get when you perform this operation on the apex vista so this is it guys I start playing with the samples let me know the bugs i'm always there to help you thanks thanks for your time